I'm looking for the manager. There's been some complaints to the council about the noise level. You've been rattling the residents' fillings, apparently. That would have been the um, heavy metal lot we had in last month. The headbanger's ball. Jesus, the cacophony. But that's all sorted out now. The bard. I see. Well, that's all right. Do you, God? What the hell was that? That's the Cardinals. Practicing. Practicing? Well, I'm not around when they get the hang of it. Right. I'm going for a bit of a wonder. that, do you? You want me to tell Mr. Downs what you just told me? Yeah, I want you to tell him. You go tell him, because I ain't having this shit no more. You hear me? No more! I hear you, Frenchy. I hear you. Now put your stick down. I've had it with you guys. Do what you want, but I'm not playing your little game anymore. It's messing up my head. Hey, Frenchy. Just your head that gets messed up, you know that. What? Like his face, you mean? Hello, sir. It's Dan Boyd here. Are you finished at the ice rink? I'm still here, sir. But something's just happened that I thought you'd want to know. Something concerning Tommy Thornton. Are they the same fellas that were around here last week? What's going on, Paul? If only you'd talk to somebody, I'm sure we could help you out, no matter what it is. You reckon? Listen, let me talk to Mr Downs. No. But Paul, he's the manager, that's what he's there for. I said no, Jimmy. No, no, tempa, tempa, monsieur. Look, I appreciate the concern, we'll just butt out, OK? Very strong, the frog. You never know when to wrap up, do you, Bob? Look, that good alone Canadian hotshot has only spoken half a dozen words to me since he was signed. That's both on and off the ice. Is he some kind of jam, Bobby? So what? Why should I bother my arse? Because we're the team. And whether you like him or not, Paul's a part of that team. I'm not the one that needs to mind on that score, pal. How's it going, Andy? Is it right what I hear, Tommy? That you're going abroad? No, not for a while yet, not till I get this sorted. You will get it sorted, will you, Tommy? Oh, yeah, I said what I promised, didn't I? Just checking. Hey, don't worry, Annie, you won't have to pay that money. Oh, I'm not worrying, Tommy. I'll leave it with you, then. My regards to your lovely wife. Tommy Thornton. It means nothing to me. Well, it means plenty to me. And serious crime, and customs and excise. In almost every major criminal investigation we've had to deal with in the last 18 months, Thornton's name has come up. But he's clever. No flies on this guy. Strange I've not heard about him. Not really. 
He operates just above gutter level. I want you to get out and dig some dirt. Why don't you let Dan run with this one for a while? What? Well, he stumbled onto it. Seems only fair to give him a pop. Are you serious? Send Sergeant Boyd out there, onto the streets, have him making decisions. It was just a suggestion. Yeah, well, he has enough trouble trying to decide which type of tea bag to put in the pot. There's so many different kinds. Ring me with something soon. Paul de Chien, 24, French Canadian. A bit of a whiz kid on the skates, apparently. The Cardinals brought him over last year, part of their big push to try and win the championship. Signed him from some club up near Alaska in the Christmas season. From Alaska to Newcastle. I suppose they've got the weather in common. I suppose. Do we know if he's got any form? We do. He hasn't. I spoke to a Sergeant Grummet of the RCMP. That's the... Uh... I know it, Dad. The guys with the hats, right? According to Sergeant Grummet, their Canadians treat their ice hockey the way we treat our football, sort of like the national sport. And Duchesne's a bit of a national hero. Did you get a chance to talk to anyone from the club? Don Campbell, last week manager. According to him, Duchesne's a bit of a loner. Low key was the term he used. Really? Not the kind of thing you'd expect from a national hero, is it? Never known one. What now? Thornton. So what we're going to do, boss? Oh, I don't know, Eddie. What are you doing? I'd kick his lights in. <laughs> I mean, that's what most bastards understand, isn't it? Gordon. That's not my game, Tommy. You know what we're going to do, eh? Nothing. What if it doesn't work? It will work. Yeah, I know, Tommy, but what if it doesn't? Well... Then we kick his lights in. <laughs> right, out. There's plotting to be done. Eddie, get Janet Foreman. Right. How is Janet? I haven't seen her about. What's lately? Hi, Janet's lovely. Paul? He's lovely, Get on with it. Uh, I've had a look at the books, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid it's only a matter of time. France. To live, isn't that nice? What? Well, it makes sense. With all those people I deal with down in Marseille. And it's sunny there, isn't it? It'd be great for little Paul. Paul's not little anymore. He's almost ten. You can't disrupt his schooling just like that. It will unsettle him. Now, you're not telling me there aren't any decent schools over there. Oh, come on. Do you think we can turn up on a Monday morning and just throw him into a class full of French kids? It's happening, all right? I'm not discussing it. Just get it prepared. You can tell little Paul. Tommy, please. Friggin' yuck! Do it!
You're welcome. Nay, anchovies. Sorry. Where do you get that at this time of night? Does it matter? It's a delight there. Get out, quick. Wait here. I haven't seen your face before. But you can go and tell Tommy that I'm not coming back. Want some of this nosh? What is it? Vegetarian sausages. Nice bit of frozen broccoli. Pass. What are you doing keeping on, eh? Your bed's not 20 yards down the passage. Oh! I had some thinking to do. Must have just nodded off. You ever hear of a geezer called Tommy Thornton? Nah. I don't think so. Right. I'm off to meet my Eileen. What were you going to be doing on Saturday? What am I going to be doing, like? You and me are going to watch some ice hockey. Ice hockey.
that's for sure. How old is he? Duchenne. He's 24, I think. Quite a lot, doesn't he? Talent, dosh, youngfulness. Here's me, 40 something, topless and nothing in the pipeline. I might as well be dead. I don't suppose he can open a safe. Ah. Mind you, this place brings back some very happy memories. You were never an ice skater, were you? Nah. But I once shagged a lassie in the cupboard where they keep the mats. How romantic. Type of thing you'd normally took away in your sleep. What the hell is up with you? It's not the first time, is it? I guess. You guess? Listen, son. I'm not one to beat about the bush. You know why you were brought over here. You know what's expected of you. There's a lot of money riding on this championship. And a lot of careers as well. I know, Bobby. I know. Well done, lads. No shame in losing a well fought match. Bit of an up and down kind of a day, eh? Yeah, well, it's a bit of an up and down kind of a game, you know? If you say so. Mr. Right now, I'm about this close to killing. So if you want some, come on, let's go right now. What would your fans think? Okay, but you tell that blood-sucking bastard that. Here's a list of the places she's likely to be hiding with my little Paul. I'm grateful for said she is. Don't come back without them. Nice place. Belongs to a friend. She's away working in London. I've used it before. I got your phone call. What's going on? I've left, Tommy. Paul. Ça continue? Avec Tommy? Ouais, ça continue. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire Il faut que ça s'arrête. Tu entends Qu'est-ce que tu veux que je fasse Je sais pas, tu peux prévenir la police. Je peux pas faire ça, tu le sais très bien. Écoute, il va falloir que tu fasses quelque chose. Well, uh... <laughs> Fancy that. So, Duchesne is involved with Thornton's wife. Thornton's tumbled to it. And now he's putting the frighteners on to shame. Is that how it is? That's how it looks. You know, with a young son and all. There's an out sacred these days. 
We're only talking about marriage, man. Who gives a shit about that? These days. What do you want me to do now? If we're going to pull Thornton, we'll need something that's rock solid. Absolutely watertight. I'll go around to where his wife's staying and drop a wire in. That should be interesting. And how do you intend doing that? I'll not have you break in. Apart from anything else, it's inadmissible in court. No, oh, I'll talk my way out. It shouldn't be too difficult. She looks pretty dumb. Let's get out of here. Worse than this in Alaska, apparently. It's all right, sweetheart. Stay here. Be looking all over for you. Well, you don't look too surprised to see us. Why? Should I be? <laughs> yeah. Look, I told that other guy, and I'm telling you, we're not coming back. What other guy? Hey, I'll ask the questions, right? What other guy? I'm not in the mood for games. Yeah, and neither am I, darling. Now, look, my orders was not to come back without you, so why don't you... You good... don't! Get out. I tell you, what's the last thing I tell you? Yeah, I know, Tommy, but like I say, she had this boiling kettle in her hand, didn't she? Could have given you a nasty burn, that. I mean, at least we know where they are now, so... So, what? You can go back there, and you can scare the pants off you one more time, can't you? Hmm? You forgot to mention the other bloke. What is that? It's probably nothing, Tommy. Probably nothing means possibly something. What? Just something Janet said um, about this that she'd already said to the other bloke that she wasn't going back. The other bloke. Well, at least she'll not be all alone in that big flat of hers at night. Will she? Get the motor. It's you. I was wondering when you'd show up again. Were you? You're in good shape. I'm very particular about what I put inside my body. I'm glad to hear it. So, who are you? I know you don't work for Tommy. No. I represent the, uh, the opposition. Oh. That could cover a multitude. I called round the other day to have a word, but Paul and Duchesne beat me to the door. Right. Did you know that your husband is pressuring Duchesne into throwing games? Yes, I knew that. Because of your relationship? I am sorry. Your relationship? With Duchesne? What? One and one make eleven. Huh? Well, there you go. Well, I don't suppose you get paid to think. Am I missing something here? Oh, God, it's Tommy. It has to be.
what sort of a guy does this to his own wife and son? He just the beginning. Now he knows where we are. He'll be back. He doesn't know where I am. He's asleep. Oh, Jesus, what a mess. We'll get it sorted. Don't worry. Right, then. I'm going to nash around Irene's. Uh, nice to meet you, Janet. And you. And thanks for the tea. Paul Duchesne is gay. What? Paul Duchesne is gay. You're gonna have to give me a moment to take that one on board. He's gay. Aye, aye, aye. It's not that big a deal, is it? No, not at all. I'm just... just a little annoyed at myself and not even considering it as a possibility. Okay. Well, that would mean... Yeah. That's why I laughed earlier. When you were talking about he and I being involved. So what was he doing around at your flat? Talking. We both needed someone to talk to. I'm frightened. Don't be. To me, was a big cardinal's fan. I used to take Paul. Paul loved it. The cardinals were doing really well in the league. But they needed that little something special. If they were going to win it. Duchesne. When they bought Duchesne. Tommy fixed it so Paul could meet him. Duchesne took a real liking to Paul. Made a big first, cutting the best ticket. All that. To little Paul, Duchesne was a hero. And then Tommy found out that Duchesne was gay. How did he find out? I told him. I didn't think it, it... That was it. If a bat pulled to go anywhere near to Shane or the ice rink, it broke little Paul's heart. He's hardly... He's hardly spoken a word ever since. But surely... This grief that Tommy's been giving Duchesne isn't just because he's gay, is it? I mean, it can't be. There's a guy called Ernie Peters. Well, 
He and Timmy were used to go to the ice hockey together. And he put up a 50,000 pound championship bonus. There was a lot of fuss at the time, a lot of press coverage. But nobody ever thought that the Camus could win it. Least of all, Ernie. Then Duchesne joined the team, and they started to win every week. Bernie's having a tough time of it, business-wise. So Tommy owed him a favor. Right, right. I can manage the rest of it. You better get some sleep. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you. I'm sorry. Was that really out of order? No, I was kind of hoping it would happen. Good night. Can you stay here and keep an eye on your mum? Make sure she's all right? Yes. Okay, mi casa su casa. Make yourselves at home. Stick will be back in a bit, okay? Are you going after Tommy? Sort of. Just goes to show you can do it when you want to. Prove it. Prove it, man. I can't. That's right. You can't. Unless I drag Janet into all this, drag her into court, and young Paul. But I'm not going to do that. What's this all about, man? It's about taking responsibility, I think. No lectures, okay? I hear that shit a hundred times a day. Not from me. What, and you're different? You're any different than the rest of those big mouth macho bozos? Well, yeah, I'd like to think so. What's the use? What's the use? What's the use? Do you not want to see Thornton banged up? For what? Blackmail? Bribery and corruption? Welcome to sport in the 90s, man. What about young Paul? Hmm? What about young Paul? The kid looks up to you. Thinks you're the bee's knees. Thinks you're a stand-up guy. Yeah, well, I'm sure it won't be long till someone sets him straight on that one, too, huh? Well, that depends, doesn't it? Huh? Look, man, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. It's that simple, all right? Any message for young Paul?
no message. I told Doris it was madness giving me thermals for the Rotarians. Does your legs not get cold in them skimpy little strides? Only when I stop pedalling down. Aye, uh, right. Well, he was asking, like, you know, Gillespie, about... Well... About Janet Thornton. Look, go back and tell Gillespie that my number one priority is to collar Tommy Thornton. And anything else, he can talk to me direct. Right? Right. right. Think the little pep talk with the shame will do the trick then? I don't know. So? So, we're just gonna have to wait until Saturday. Big day then. Everything right in on this one result, eh? No kidding. Enjoy the game. I know we will. Is it all sorted? Oh, I think so, isn't it? Over that big teddy bear, is it, buddy? Jumps on your head. I have to go out. I won't be long. You'll get me into trouble. I'm supposed to guard you. I'll be fine. I just have to go and pick up a few things. Paul? Paul? I won't be long. Eh? It's not over yet. Tennis says it is. You got it.
Morton. Going abroad now. Where is he? Bull's not here, Timmy. What do you mean he's not here? He's somewhere safe. Safe? Safe? Not safe here, you stupid thing. Are you coming with me? No, Timmy. Where's my passport? I have to say, uh, it doesn't come easy, uh, but you guys have a right to know, so, oh, my chest, oh. it looks great from where I'm sitting, where's Paul, he's safe, he's with Stick, where you should have been, yeah, well, yeah, well, I'd like to know where your husband disappeared to. France. Really? Dino, Tommy. He'll be back. He won't leave it at this. Hey. Don't worry. I'll be here. You won't be here all the time, though, will you? Who says I won't? Get well soon. I want to do rude things to you. We, the undersigned, wish to protest in the strongest possible terms over the dismissal of our teammate, Paul Duchesne. The whole team signed it. Every last one of them. Play a power, eh? So you're gonna stay? Yeah, I'm gonna tough it out. Figure I have nothing more to hide, so uh, I have nothing more to fear. Good for you. So what now? Well, that kind of depends on you. Well, we don't have Thornton. No Thornton. No case. Funny thing. All my life I've been dreading this day. But now it's happened, I feel a whole lot lighter. Like someone's lifted a great big weight off my back. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Fine. When you go, I want to be just like you. 
Don't be in a hurry. It'll come soon enough. But when it does, will you do me a favor? When you get there, will you keep an open mind? <laughs> See you on the ice in time? Count on it. Tell you about my daughters.